anything goes wrong, fast track the gulags. Foot on the brake, we're in pack. Got my left foot on the brake. Right. Right, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's a lot of care. Stay away from the curbs. Stay away from the curbs. I've got a fair death grip on the steering wheel. Can you see that? The knuckles are white. Guy Martin is driving at 20 miles per hour. Way up, mate. His nerves may be down to the fact that Vladimir has decided to come too. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Going into one lane. Got me, I'm coming down the outside. Okay, that's okay. Left. Yeah. Left hand winker on. Left hand winker on. Left hand winker on. I've got a left hand winker on. We're going left. Guy Martin is turning left. Okay, okay. Driving past the old KGB prison. <laughs> this is great. I'm on. We're going round the Kremlin Museum. <laughs> this is one of those points in life. Even now, back home, very frosty relations. Yeah, this is the, the beginning of the Second Cold War. Really, that's the impression we're given. But here, here is the British film crew in a presidential zeal <laughs> driving around Red Square. The Night Wolves have a scary reputation. Patrick <laughs> Sack. But they are seemingly excited <laughs> to show off their unique workshop come nightclub, taking Guy on a whistle stop tour of their industrial upcycling. Hey, where's this from? I'll tell you this moment, what you see, it's the Colosseum. It's done from the section of the section of the section of the section of the section. We made two tractors, this was the most massive production of tractors. Where have all these machines come from? Да, скажу, приведи, пожалуйста, что нам очень, во-первых, нравится вот эта эпоха индустриализации. Мы собираем все вот эти ликвии, вещи, как правило, мне уже сейчас люди вместо подарков. We don't get anything like this in England. The night wolves have also turned a larder into a skull and a forklift truck into what they call Russia's biggest motorway. Six months been doing that. That's a lot of work for six months. Jesus Christ! With a language barrier not helped by a dodgy radio, and after just five minutes of grammar school and five minutes of practical demonstration, this lorry mechanic is put in command you control, you control. of a 500 miles per hour jet for his very first aerobatic display. Roll, okay? Whatever the joystick did, the plane did. It was a very responsive plane. Even an experienced pilot would have 10 hours training before flying a jet like this solo. But Vasily is happy for Guy to continue with just a little bit of help to navigate. Take it into your right hand. Remember that we don't put finger on the trigger before we're ready. Vladimir checks if Guy is sufficiently braced to handle the energy of a firing gun. Aim at the target, nothing else. <laughs> Again, yeah, you know, yeah. just try to, you don't have to, you know, push or fight. You just have to, yeah, very good. So now, let's, let's load the weapon. So just lock the magazine in. Yep, very good. Okay. Now we need to charge the weapon. Yep, good. Just let it go. Good. Okay. So now just aim at the target and uh, go at it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. Great. Let's try a little bit of a short burst, fully automatic. Okay. When you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Careful there. I tried to do a bit of a... Did I do it? A Lebanese unload. Just emptied it. <laughs> yeah, quite easy. Shockingly easy. Three, two, one, go. 
and all from a design that's so mechanically simple it can be stripped in less than 12 seconds. In the Soviet era, this is an exercise that children would do at school. About 11 and a half seconds. Yeah. Impressive. Guy's turn. Three, two, one, go. Safety, safety down. Safety down. A little blind. Yeah, yeah, it's, it should be a little. Karate chum. That fella out there. Come on, come on. Yep, That's him. good. I think it's one minute, 15 seconds. Oh, one minute, yeah. 15 seconds. No, no worries, really. Victor invites his new best friend back to the staff canteen. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Siberian chat quickly turns to friends and family. My dogs. Mm -hmm. That's Nigel and that's Stephen. What did your dad do? What was his job? No, he was like... Западной Украины. В 50-х годах сюда семья, его семью сюда, ну, сослали. Репрессии. Свидетели Иеговы были. That's mom and dad's a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. У нас оператор, у него тоже свидетели Иеговы, родители. Yeah. There you go. Здесь, в Сибири, много, много таких, кто сослали. I didn't expect Siberia to be like this at all. Хорошо. Я рад, что такое впечатление о Сибири. Мне тоже нравится. В Сибири люди, люди добрые, хорошие. Они везде есть добрые люди. Even more in love with Russia. Love it. Tough, tough environment. Bloody tough folk. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast to Siberia and the people that made Siberia. This was for sale in a trucker's cafe. What was it? It was just over a quid. Just over a quid, wasn't it? About 100 rubles. 40% Russian vodka. Yeah. Thank you very much, Russia. Thank you. Your toolbox, all the stuff out of my shed, and there's a good three-phase power supply. Hey, Vulture, little wolf. Come on. Yeah, I'll be here. Honestly, honestly, I do like it. Come to see you. You're making a grand job of this. The shaman is the villager's high priest, and he prepares the meat for the feast. Every part of the cow will be eaten. First guy must help bless the meal. Three raza. Three raza. Wow. Ishu. Wow. Ishu. No. The alcoholic homebrew is also ready. Oh, so this is the tiramisu, right? Like tiramisu without the moo. It's as powerful as brandy and served in triple measures. She smells fair feisty, mate. Well, we've been dozing. You want to neck the lot? I am driving home, am I? Top man, top man. Bariats always give their guests of honor a shawl or scarf to wear, or in this case, a shirt. Oh, sorry, 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 love, sorry, love. Oh, like a Bobby Dazzler in there, don't I? Sit down. Uncle Baker beef is famous for its flavor because of the fresh grass the cows eat. What's your heart? Oh, beef hats, okay. Can you just eat it? I've got a loose tooth in your throat. That's lovely, mate. It's all washed down by another triple measure of Tarasan. And you drink your drink? Thank you. What did you drink? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll drink it all. I'll be pissed, man. Jesus, wept. Hey, hey, you know what that meant, didn't you? <laughs> you know what that meant. The ceremony calls for the Tarasun to keep flowing. Yeah, 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 late. Guzik, at the wall, at the meow. Yeah, I'll get it in the mate. She's fair hefty, that mate. What? I am absolutely trolled. Absolutely trolled. I am, I am, mate. Yeah, you're right. Guy and his team make their way to Chernobyl for the 
first time. Your information centre. Hang on, it's a souvenir shop. A souvenir shop. Очень быстро. Подъем будет непростой. Тота более 100 метров плюс. Это посредине подъема должна будет повышаться, но потом при ухудшении самочувствия. Если вы почувствуете себя плохо, сразу говорите, мы вернемся обратно. Right, let's get cracking. You're not going up it every A contamination monitor will measure the dose rate at each stage of the climb. In the UK, this would read around 0.25. Six, six. Uh, it's not bad, six, six. Yeah, well, I'd say nine or hundred. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's 400 times higher than UK background radiation. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Let's check it again. Yeah, 120. You see? More, yeah, more. Very, very, yeah. They are strong. The turbine house is about here, I think, isn't it? That's the worst bit. Guy is now at the same height as the breached reactor inside. The level reaches nearly 900 times higher than UK background radiation. 216, that's, that's what that said there. Don't stop. <laughs> How many? Oh, it's not so bad, it's 80. Can I see? 80. Yeah, it's good, it's come down now. Oh. Okay, relax. 40. Yeah, 40. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're here. Mission complete. Thank you. This only in minutes uh, okay. because uh, under uh, it's a reactor. Very bad. <laughs> Those. Yeah. What a view, eh? What a view. You think you can climb the tree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Tree okay. climbing, mate. Okay. I look like a plonker with me camera on my head. Yeah. I'm more of a plonker. Tim has one other task for Guy to help with out in the field. Fixing new camera traps in the most notorious radiation hotspot of all. The so-called Red Forest. And you know, in some of these areas, a millisievert an hour is the dose that you would get, which is if you spend three hours in the Red Forest, you get a whole year's worth of natural radiation. They're less than a mile from the power plant. Wind blew radiation in this direction, and its effects can still be seen. So, you know, these are Scots pines. Normally, they go straight up and down, but look at these trees. They're all yeah, yeah. strangely bent. Let me try not to spend too much time in these really hot areas. But... What Guy is doing is not recommended. He's going to have to wash his hands when he's done. Okay, don't fall out of the tree. <laughs> right, do you think you can pass the camera up to us then? And then yep, we'll... it's coming. Yeah, right. mate. Right, okay, that way up. Yeah, it looks good. There you go. On the way down, Guy rips his overalls. Yeah. He has to be immediately scanned. Sorry, boy. Sorry, that. Sorry. Boy. On this occasion, it seems he's got away with it. I wasn't going to climb that tree, so <laughs> I, I'm very, very grateful that you climbed that tree for us. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, if I, if I could do anything to help yeah. the cause at all, yeah, well, then yeah. I'd feel honored. Yeah, thank you.